Hi, this is Greg Hughes with 90 Second Website Builder. In this video, I want to give you an overview of the version 10 interface to show you how to get started using 90 Second Website Builder so you can start building websites with this great software. As you can see, when you open the software the first time, you'll start with a blank canvas, which is what you're looking at right now. Off to the left is our toolbox, and then over to the sides here, we'll be looking at some of the other palettes, or windows we call them, site manager, as well as the properties inspector window down here. But let's go over some of the basics of where everything is. I won't go into detail on these features and tools because we have videos for those. This is just kind of a broad stroke uh, overview, a bird's eye view, if you will, of the software. Right now I have the home menu showing, as you can see here, and under the home menu is where you'll find those familiar things like uh, cut, copy, and paste, as well as undo and redo and some of these other editing features that you'll be used to. Also, you'll be using the preview feature a lot when you work with 90 Second Website Builder, so we've made it easy to get to just by clicking this button where you can preview your work in a local browser before you actually publish it to see what your website's going to look like online. So you can use that tool to see what your work's going to look like in any particular browser. Next to that, of course, is the publishing tool where you can publish your website anytime you want to, right to an, a server, an FTP server, or your web hosting account, in other words, or publish it directly to your desktop and work with those HTML files if you choose. Either way, that's where the publishing button is. It's one of the places it is. One of the things you'll notice is there are multiple places where these tools are accessible to make it easier for you to work with the software. Also, you'll see under the home menu the properties for the entire project, which is what this represents, as well as some new things such as an animations feature, a quicker way to go to where you would create events. And I won't go into what events are here, but again, we'll have videos about most of these features more specifically. If we switch to the insert menu, you'll see where all of the tools are represented more graphically here for you to grab. This is just another representation of basically the toolbox but maybe an easier way for you to visualize what you're grabbing. So whether you use the insert menu or the toolbox, you have easy access to the tools you need to create your website. And now there are many, many more tools here in version 10, which we'll be talking about soon. Under the page menu, of course, you'll deal with things that have to do with pages, such as creating them, adding new pages, renaming them, cloning them, and deleting them. Whatever you want to do with a page, you can do with your page menu. A lot of what you can do in the, under the page menu, you can also do over here in the site manager. If you've used other versions of 90 Second Website Builder, you'll recognize that those features are also over here under this palette. You can also access the background of any page here, as well as the page properties, something you'll do often to change some of the attributes to a particular page, as well as access the page HTML if you want to, or if you need to paste in, for example, third-party code into your page, you can do that by accessing the page HTML. There's also several other new tools here I won't go into detail, such as the Google Analytics, a fast way to add that, uh, a fast way to look at if there are any errors on your page, and now the new animations timeline. But I want to point out one of the most important new things here under the page menu is the responsive web design tool. And of course, we'll be talking about that more specifically in the responsive web design videos. But this is where you would be able to add breakpoints for your responsive web design. And again, we'll talk about what those are later. Under the view menu, it's a really convenient way for you to control the interface so you can see what you want to see and put away what you don't want to see. So for example, you can toggle things on and off. If you don't want to see this toolbox, you can toggle that off and toggle it back on under the view menu. Sometimes it's a good idea to know about this because often people will accidentally click a button. Say you clicked this close button and lose your toolbox. If you didn't know where this was, you wouldn't know how to come back in here and turn that on. And that's true for all of the palettes, including Site Manager and Properties Manager, Properties Inspector, as well as many of the other palettes. Another great feature here under the view menu is the ability to do a full screen mode. That means at any time you can click this button and view your work, the entire canvas, without seeing any of the tools or menus, just to kind of lose that distraction. If you want to, just quickly close this button. 
and you go back to the regular interface. Just another convenient thing to do here under the view menu. You'll also be able to set up guides and rulers and again there's videos just about how to use these specifically but I'm showing you how to access those options. If you want to turn on a grid so that you can line things up or snap to the grid you'll be able to do that here under the view menu. You can also zoom in and out of the canvas if you want to look at something very very closely or back up and look at it at a broader view you'll be able to do that with the zooming tools. The arrange menu I use a lot because it helps you line up objects since this is a drag and drop interface and you can put things anywhere you want on the canvas sometimes you want them to line up just right and it's here that you'll be able to do that and align everything by their edges left center right top etc as well as move things forward and behind of each other by using the arrange tools here under this menu you can also rotate objects, group and ungroup objects, and even lock objects. Sometimes when you put several objects out onto your canvas, you sometimes want to lock them down so that you don't bump into them or accidentally grab them when you're moving things. And this lock tool comes in really handy for that. Also, there's just some general tools for the operation of the program that you'll find very, very handy here. One of them is new, is the Animations Manager, and we'll go into that later. Also, a Backup Manager, because you want to keep your work backed up. If something were to happen to your computer, your projects can be backed up as you're working on them. Also, with the full version of 90 Second Website Builder, you have access to third-party extensions or add-ons. You can manage those with the new Extension Manager tool that's right here, as well as managing themes for the page. And now with the new built-in mobile site builder in version 10, we have a mobile theme manager here under the Tools menu. You can manage your assets. There's also a global replace. So if you want to search for something throughout the website and replace it, this is a great tool for replacing, say, text or something that appears somewhere throughout the website and you want to quickly replace that or make a site map. We'll also talk about the style manager and how that affects your hyperlinks and some of the things that you can do very quickly as you're in design mode. Also a tool to verify links. And then, your, of course, your options for setting up your interface, which I'll talk about here in just a second. Under the Help menu is the obvious Help, where you can get support. If you click on this Help button, you'll bring up an online interface for you to search for topics if you need to look at the documentation for 90 Second Website Builder while you're working in the software. But you can also go right to the website if you click on the Getting Started. You'll go right to the video tutorial page that's online, or you can go to the website and get support. So everything's here in a very compact and easy way to work with. Now, uh, you'll notice I avoided talking about just one menu here, and that was this one called the File Menu. And I'll show you why. It's, it's new, and it looks a little bit different. If you're used to more of a Windows 7 look, then this may throw you off a little bit. But when you click on the File Menu, this looks a little bit different. It's called the Backstage View. It's kind of a Windows 8 method of looking at things. Now, the menu's still here. You still have the same features that you had in other versions of 90 Second Website Builder. These are the most recent documents you've opened up. And you can go back by clicking this to the interface. If you want to change the look of this, if you're not used to this backstage look, you want to go back to the older interface, you can always do that as well just by going to your Tools and Options settings. You can change the user interface by selecting Interface and change this file menu to the menu look instead of the backstage look. If you click OK, you'll see you'll end up with a menu that looks something like this, something you may be more used to in previous versions. So that's kind of a quick lay of the land. Remember the toolbox over here lists many, many tools, and a lot of them are new to version 10, which we'll be going over in some of the version 10 videos. And then again, over here, remember your site manager and your properties inspector. Now these are palettes, just like the toolbox, and can be docked or can be what's called floating. That's true for all of the palettes. So again, if you want to move a palette around, and change the interface, you can do that. You just click next to the header of the palette and move it like this. This now becomes a floating palette instead of a docked one. That's what that means. So if you'd rather move your palettes around into a different space, you're welcome to do that. You can also right click on this and change this back to a docking palette and it goes right to where it was.
So anyway, that's a quick overview of the interface for the new version 10 software for 90 Second Website Builder. As you can see, you can get around easily, grab the tools and features and functions that you need, and start building websites with 90 Second Website Builder.